Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your Zodiac reading. I'm super excited. I'm back to doing these readings. And so this is for the month of March. Welcome, March. We are going to take a look and see what energies are coming in for you in the month of March. So please remember, this is a general reading. If you want to work deeper with me, I do coaching, which are 90 minutes. All my info is down below. Take a look down below. Come follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. All right, let's take a look, guys. What is going on for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus Spirit? What is going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus? In the mind space, we have Treasured Island. So for love, Cancer, you are really looking at this slow paced, beautiful abundance that's coming here for you. How am I going to move towards my treasure? Spirit is saying in your heart, you're being pushed into the edge to take a leap of faith into something. Cancer, what do we have? One flipped up here. No place like home, Cancer. Cancers are really about the home, right? It's about Cancer. You're really looking at what makes you feel nice. Um, this uh, this treasure might seem like quite far away, but Spirit is really bringing up that this is might be slow moving. There's a lot of emotion entailed in here, and so Spirit wants you to recognize in your in your headspace. You're recognizing it's a nine. We have a nine. We have another nine here coming to the edge in the heart space, knowing that, you know, I'm moving forward. I need to come to the edge. I need to <laughs> chop the wood. Um, a new door is opening here and I need to make sure that my vibration is pure and I'm staying present and I'm cleaning things up as I need to. And this is really beautiful, Cancer. Uh, you're really hitting a brand new vibration is what I'm seeing in the month of March for love. Let's take a look and take a deeper look here for Cancer in regards to your journey. Your love, life, journey, high soulmate connections, twin flame, alchemy, all of that stuff. Wow. Okay, so we've got cards jumping out already. We have courtship, unexpected income. No place like home. Nothing for no place like home. We have high honor. Okay. And chop the wood. What I'm seeing here, uh, Cancer, you're really thinking about uh, a courtship that could happen here with somebody that may be, yeah, you're making, a, you're giving up. I see this usually as sometimes as spirit, as God, or it can also be um, legal matters that you're cleaning things up here and you're being very present that a new door is opening up and you're going to have to make some hard decisions in your life. What I'm seeing here is like there is a love or there is something that's happening here in regards to um, a courtship, something that is maybe slow moving, but it is your pot of gold here. This is something that you're desiring in the mind that you have been thinking about. And so it, it's a, actually come as a little bit of a surprise in your heart space to that spirit is guiding you to come closer to this connection that to give something to somebody. And this is, um, the unexpected income is you may have to buy your way out of something um, is what Spirit is saying, but it's not going to come as that much financial burden to you. But Spirit is like saying whatever you need to do in your heart space to clear it, it is time to clear it. Hold a high place of honor here for home. Home is the sacredness of your soul, right? And if you notice in this card, this house is way up on a pedestal. It's like way above the earth. You have to climb like Jack and the Beanstalk climb up you have to ascend to get to this place there is a high honor this is 550 change um before there's another nine here we have three nines as well you guys cancer nine nine and nine so really coming to an end of a completion for four which is a foundation and here we have number seven which is also about um you know uh, it can be a little bit hard but it's spiritual and enlightenment of where your home is and so spirit is bringing this up with three and a six which are also could be life path numbers but three and six is good life paths go really good together and but this is really about making the proper choices in your life cancer so that you know where you're moving towards so you know that you're coming to this edge that you're going into something completely different all right let's take a look let's go a little deeper let's pull some tarot what is going on for cancer please sun moon and rising and venus 
and for North Node as well. We'll do it all, guys. So make sure that you look, guys, at all of your placements to make sure that you're getting a bigger picture. Take what resonates. And if you are liking this so far, please don't forget to hit a like, please, there, Cancers. It really helps my channel to grow now that I'm coming back and doing these for you guys. Um, yeah. I, I love it. I've missed it. I had to get back. I had to go through my own dark night. I had to go through my own dark night. Let's see. Bottom of the deck. What is happening for Cancer? All right, Cancer. We have Seven of Cups with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse with the Chariot. Seven of Swords with the Tower in reverse. Judgment in reverse with the Eight of Swords. Wow. So, and this is my deck. Um, they're not for sale yet, but they will be shortly. I'm still working that out on my website. Um... What I'm seeing here, Cancer, is you really want to move into this dream. You're dreaming about this courtship. You're dreaming about the abundance. It's like on this turtle island. So if you guys are into shamanism and stuff like that, but this is like the island, the tur the it's moving. It's a slow moving. But it's funny because turtles in the water actually move very quick. I've scuba dived with turtles. They're amazing. But they move very fast when they're in the water. So it could be actually... Um, coming a lot faster cancer than you actually think because it's on a turtle so it might be a little deceptive how fast this might actually happen this courtship here but you're not offering anything right now what I'm seeing is that there's it's a more of a dreaming process and a card falls on the floor but it always does that to me and yeah, it's with the Queen of Cups, all right? It's with the Divine Feminine. You're feeling the Divine Feminine, but you're not ready to give right now to the situation. You're more thinking about it. You're fantasizing about it. You're really in your head. Yeah, you're a little defensive about what to give the situation. So you're a little bit all up in your head about it, Cancer. I would try to let that go. We're going to do the island time and see what comes up with that. But in your heart space, you're really ending the pain around a certain situation. Spirit's really asking you to kind of like let the money go if it needs to go, pay your way out, keep moving forward, come to the edge and end your heartbreak in your heart in regards to this person and move quickly. This is the chariot. That's your card, Cancer. Wow. For the Ace of Cups and a commitment family. So family and this new love is really gauging it in your heart, Cancer. You're really moving forward very quickly in your heart. You may be uh, having to make a decision in a love situation, okay? Um, something may have ended, but you're getting over the heartbreak of that is what I'm seeing. You're a little defensive with your plan in your mind because you're more in the dreaming state in your mind. Um, and so in your heart, you're, you're actually in a better place in your heart right now that what is this lovers in reverse that you may be having to end something here. Yeah. You're coming out of a place of apathy. You're finally taking that cup that spirit was saying, come hither, come here, come do this, you know, and, um, spirit is saying that you're now really starting to kind of come out of this place in your heart and kind of looking at other options here. Your action, though, is Seven of Swords with the Tower in reverse. So I feel this is more planning, being a little bit more strategic because this is such a high connection. It's such a high honor. You're trying, you're having an internal change that's happening right now, but you're trying to get over your fears. It's also a fear of change, but you also know, Cancer, that this can't wait any longer for union. We have four of wands with the six of swords. So this is, you know, no longer waiting here and moving on to calmer waters. You're going to have to break down foundations. You may have a little bit of fear in regards to that, Cancer, in regards to, you know, the seven of swords here. Uh, past energy, you may have been um, deceptive. And as I'm saying that the devil in reverse came out, spirits like, no, you're ending toxicity. So you're kind of looking at how to plan and how to move into calmer waters, into a union, into a solid foundation. You know you can't wait on this anymore. Clarify the four of wands here. Yeah, this is about being single and in union with self and to get over your fears of this high honor here. It just can't wait anymore. Spirit is saying you've been stuck for a while, Cancer, okay? You're doubting a little bit about what you have to chop out of your world. Uh, you feel trapped. You may be waiting for a jurisdiction from somebody. You may be waiting for a sign from Spirit. Spirit is saying you'll know when to end this, so don't doubt. This sadness, you have to really want the illumination, okay? Um, we have the world. You're ending cycles right now. You're still feeling a little trapped. Why is Cancer feeling trapped? 
Yeah, because you're still learning to get over your fears. Things are being revealed to you as um, you're moving in March here, okay? Um, the doubts that you're having, Spirit is saying, they're, yeah, you've been manipulated, okay, Cancer? There's been, the doubt is coming out of a manipulation where you may have to, you know, go through court to get money, something about money. Could be also Spirit guiding you and how to end something. You're in a complacent place of the sun, yeah, it's not healing. Whatever situation you're in, Cancer, it's not what you desire and you're not healing. So where you want to move towards is you're not giving to the situation because you're still trying to get some clarity in your mind here. You're still trying to figure out how to make a decision here, but you want to race forward with this. And the heart space is more ready than what I'm seeing anything else. And your actions, it's still a little... Mm, wanting to move on to calmer waters but still having some fears about that as well um yeah what are the fears here for cancer why is cancer fearing this here i'm gonna do the tower in reverse clarify the tower in reverse you want to stop fighting this cancer you're why is cancer fighting this yeah being stagnant I feel you may have lost a lot of zest out of life. You're more or less dreaming about this connection. You want to move into something new. Yeah, you've been blocking, trying to block your heart. Look, King of Cups with the Queen of Cups. You're feeling, you're trying, you're feeling um, this Divine Feminine that you're feeling, okay? Um, but it could also be, you know, King of Cups, when the King of Cups is, you know, in the water, it could be turbulent. They have their, they have their grounding, but this King of Cups is more, um, not able to ground the energy right now all right let's see what's going on with the island time island time cancer sun moon and rising let's take a look here what's going on with cancer we're gonna do a pick a card at the end here as well let me see no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm trying to go at about 20 minutes per reading so we have time <laughs> we're gonna do a pick a card and we're gonna take a look as well but let's see, Cancer Spirit, what's going on with Cancer in regards to their love in March? What's going on here in regards to their mind? And this person that they're blocked, but they're fantasizing, they're not ready to give, they're a little defensive. What is this in the mind? They're currently, um, may have been stabbed in the back, okay, Cancer? You may have stabbed this person, or you may have been stabbed in the back, but you've broken up with maybe a person and you want to go back to this person, or... Uh, someone who broke up with you and wants to come back after a separation for others it could also mean that you're in the middle of a of a separation and you have to stab somebody in the back to gain this treasure island to gain this courtship and so you're just thinking about this and looking at your options and you're not ready to quite give to the situation yet spirit is saying in your heart you're more ready though you're ready to make a decision yeah you're healing right now that's what you're coming out of this heartbreak and to make this healthy choice. So you're still taking your time to heal. You know that you may have to pay yourself out, but I don't think it's something that's going to truly hurt you. Spirit is really guiding you to come to the edge here. And so you've been doing the healing and you're taking your time to make proper healthy choices here. You know this person does feels like, yeah, you're heartbroken over this person, Cancer. Or they're your person. I take it, uh, it could be vice versa if you're cross-watching. So it, somebody is very heartbroken here. Very heartbroken about this connection. Things coming to light of why they're heartbroken. That this is actually home. This is um, where they belong. They know they can't wait on this anymore. I feel cancer, it's whoever, whatever this is, is the person that I'm reading for is coming to terms with this. They have to stop fighting this. This is pure abundance here, okay? There's an ending of a cycle and trying to get over fears and just to stop fighting this right now. Yeah, not today. So this person is still healing right now, okay? Um, in regards in regards to this connection. So yeah, let's take a quick look at what is going on with the karmic energies. And then we'll do a quick yes and no pick a card. It's going to be one, two, and three at the end of the reading. And so, sorry if you heard my laptop, that was another video that's just finishing up. But let's take a look here, Cancer, at what is going on here. 
towards the karmic energies quickly, okay? Let's see what's going on with Cancer towards the karmic energies. We're just going to do a quick read on that. And then we're going to do yes or no. What is going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and North Node Spirit for my viewers towards karmic energies that are holding them back, please, for the month of March? Thank you, Spirit. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. What is going on, please, for Cancer? What is going on with Cancer towards karmic energies in the month of March? Yeah, there's like an abandonment going on. Whatever karma you're dealing with, Cancer, it's coming to an end. Look at this. The Treasure Island again. Wow. Okay. You're abandoning something here, Cancer, is what I'm seeing. You're getting rid of something. We have 5, 18, 35, and 9. 8, 9, two nines again, nearing completion. <coughs> 8 is abundance. You're abandoning something. You, you're leaving something behind, Cancer, with the karmic energies, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Let's see what's going on with Cancer towards the karmic. I'm not going to clarify this one, guys. We're just going to see what's happening, and then we'll do the pick a card. So what is going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus towards the karmic energies? Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have the Fool in Reverse, Seven of Swords, Page of Cups, Five of Cups. Yeah, you're regretful and sad about your treasure, about this island. This is your outcome towards the karmic. You're regretting. This is where you want to go. We have the Sword of Truth, the Ace of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, this Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords in Reverse. So what I'm getting here um, for Cancer, I feel a little foolish for abandoning your calling or something like that, but you're abandoning something and you feel really bad in regards to whatever you're leaving, but you're really learning to speak your truth in the karmic situation. And so this is why it's on hold right now in regards to the person that you're really thinking of. Uh, you're planning. So we have the seven of swords again of how to build and how to create this and what and, and there's serendipity. You're being guided by spirit in regards to this karmic situation of how to build and how to plan this out we're going to clarify that for sure but here spirit is saying in your action you're apologizing you're loving yourself for abandoning something um in regards to having a loyal heart could be a connection with the karmic uh in regards to the loyal heart here and spirit is saying but this is because you're so regretful this is karmic energies okay the queen of swords in reverse was blocking your your happiness your treasure your your abundance that's on this turtle right that you want to go to and it's a lot of regret that's happening so what i'm seeing in the heart space here for cancer is you know the seven of swords <laughs> trying to plan uh, spirit is really helping you plan we have a four leaf clover here you know the luck is on your side cancer spirit is really guiding you and this is like about how you're going to build and how you're going to move forward. Spirit is helping you in this relationship look of seeking more, how to moon, maneuver through this, communicating about and planning about this in regard to the karmic energy. What truth are you telling the karmic energies here that you're not starting anything new again? I feel you're ending the cycle by not starting anything new. Look at this divine masculine standing very strong, taking control of the situation. And yeah, it's too unstable. So really speaking truth here and standing in your ground here. But they're still uh, not sure how you're going to build here. Yeah, you're ending heartbreak in this situation. That's what was happening here in the beginning part. And so you're you're apologizing about a loyal heart. You're about separation. You may be loyal to the other person who's your treasure island, but it's also that you may have been loyal to a, the karmic situation here. And you passionately want to move through the healing process and leave this behind. And you're apologizing and trying to love yourself through it here. But you have wishes here, Cancer, that you want to move towards. And you're regretting this, this loss of this abundance because of a karmic person. You're trying to hold patience. Yeah, you're trying to you're trying to hold harmony and peace, but it's putting you at a crossroads with the dreams that you want in regards to this karmic person here. Yeah, because you may want a reunion with this treasure island and this queen of swords is blocking it, which is a huge burden and responsibility. Wow. Let's take a look. And that will be 
And then we're going to do a, yeah, pick a card. So yeah, Cancer, the karmic energy is a little bit difficult, but you're doing your best. I feel like it's a slow moving process. You are definitely wanting to move forward. Um, let's see what other uh, advice here that we can get here for you, Cancer. Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. What is going on here for Cancer? Yeah, I really feel like you you're, you are abandoning something. You are speaking your truth. What Spirit is saying is amazing because you know this is bad health. This is causing a lot of mental anguish for yourself, this karmic energy. It's bringing up a lot of your abandonment stuff and that you want to change. And you're ready to change this. You know it's unstable, so you're speaking your truth about this. You've been working really hard. Spirit is noticing the hard work patterns over and over and over and over. You're done with the looping. So Spirit is giving you guidance and how to uh, plan and how to build something to end uh, this heartbreak here in this connection, serendipitous, to move towards, um, yeah, so you're waiting here because you have a loyal heart, but you're apologizing because of the, of the abandonment. Um, I feel you may be taking a lot of responsibility for this karmic energy, Cancer. Uh, Spirit is really saying that you're waiting around for a loyal heart. Let's get around more, but I don't. I think it's with a false person. Yeah, you're thinking before you can move towards this person, you're thinking about somebody else, but there's a waiting aspect that's happening here. Um, Treasure Island. You want a reunion, but this per something is blocking you and it's becoming a real burden, a real burden. Yeah, look at this. You may have to buy somebody out. Okay, look, poverty consciousness. This is a lack thing. It's about money. It's a lot about money, Cancer, um, that you may have to buy somebody out. It's not going to be hurtful to you, but it's kind of what's happening. You're noticing the patterns. It's creating a lot of unhealthy issues for you and keeping you away from your real treasure and the dream that you desire. Um, Let's do that again. Well, well, we'll take the three that came. You're heartbroken. You want to call somebody. You're heartbroken, but you're taking the time to heal. We have the clock here and you're still taking the time to heal. So, all right. Think of your question, Cancer. That's how it is for the karmic energies. It's not easy. Um, try not to take a lot of the responsibility, Cancer. You need to stand your ground and move forward. You are not responsible for anybody's feelings but your own. Let's take a look, Cancer. Think of your question. You can think of a question for each card that I pull. Or you can just ask and pick one. We have card number one, two, and three. So we're going to do that right now with this deck. Let's take a look. Think of your question, and that will be your reading, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Let's take a look. What is going on with Cancer? Yes or no? Pick three, Spirit. Yes or no? Let's see here. I'm just going to put it like this, and I'm going to pick. Okay, number one. What is your... That's one and two and three all right card number one page of pentacles i'm gonna say yes that's yes that's a yes spirit is saying there's definitely an offer that is coming for you okay so just hang tight this is something small but it's gonna get the path moving it's something tangible it's something physical it's something amazing card number two Spirit is saying you're going to have to wait for this. We have the hermit, okay? You're going to have to pull back and you're going to have to withdraw your energy in the current moment before something can happen to find your own divinity. So it's not a yes or a no. It's a pull back and a wait. I'm sorry about that, patience. And card number three, we have the eight of swords. So I'm going to say that's a no for now. There's still some, it's not that that door can't open, but there's an entrapped feeling. So right now that is a no because things aren't mentally stable in the situation. And so spirit saying that is a no. All right, guys, please like, share, and comment. And I hope you love that. And we'll see you in April for your monthlies. Take care, guys. Bye, Cancer.